Hello YouTube. Right, this is a video tutorial on how to uh, deploy an Azure RDS farm using the uh, remote desktop services RDS farm template in the Azure Marketplace. So links for this you'll find in the description of the video and you'll be able to uh, deploy RDS in Azure. What it does, it creates a new Active Directory uh, domain uh, it creates a new VNet and a subnet, uh, an Azure load balancer, it also an uh, NSG and you can create as many RDS hosts as you need which is what your users will be logging in to get their desktop experience. So if you click on uh, get it now, click on continue, that will take you through to Azure. Next what you want to do is hit on create. Right, so we want to create a resource group. So, hit create new. I'm going to call this, call it Azure RDS. Okay. Leave it as the default. So now we want to create a domain admin username. So this is the domain admin for your new Active Directory domain that we're going to create. So you don't want to use administrator. So I'm going to call this RDS admin password for the new domain admin account so this has to be a complex password so let's put that in next configure AD and network so <clears throat> public IP address leave that as the default RDS public DNS label so let's put something in this has to be unique I think so I'll call it call it this uh, domain name so new active directory domain let's call it call it this put a one on it configure RDS settings oh let's just go back there's an error there so it doesn't like that because it's got a character it doesn't support so let's just call this test domain okay configure RDS settings so number of uh, RDS hosts so in this I'm just going to leave the uh, default as two uh, VM sizes so this is for the domain controller so it deploys one domain controller I'm just going to change it to a small VM because this is just a test environment RDS hosts again going to put a small VM sizes for this okay happy with that RDS broker VM and the gateway VM so now this is the host names that you want to call your new virtual machine so I'm just going to leave it on all the default so that's for the domain controller and then you've got your RDS host prefix so the prefix is when it creates an additional host it, they'll be called uh, 01, 02, 03 so I just want to check something let's go back yeah now that looks good review and correct just review everything what it's about to uh, create so we've got two RDS hosts standard B2S VM sizes and the host names for all your VMs okay and hit create so that will go off now that will build a new active directory domain it will build uh, two RDS hosts, a gateway VM and a broker VM and then it will add those VMs to your new uh, Active Directory domain. So I'm just going to pause the video here and we're just going to let that run and then we'll come back. Okay so now that is completed so if we go to the resource group and look at deployments and what we want to click on is this one and it will show you all the inputs you put in. If you want to look at the out the outputs, and this is the RD Web URL. So, what you want to do next is in the description there's a link to a blog post, which is this one. And what you want to do is scroll down to Azure RDS post deployment. There's a PowerShell script there. As a, uh, if you download that 
put in the uh, the following details and it will test the connection to the RDS bar to make sure it's working once you're satisfied with that then if you want to log in and set up any uh, certificates if you're using uh, an externally purchased SSO root certificate or if you want you can deploy a uh, certificate uh, active directory certificate services uh, deployment there's a link in here where you can also deploy active directory certificate services straight into Azure so links for that are on that article and then you want to log in and manage RDS using server manager so just follow the instructions in this blog post and it will go through all the steps about managing users and licensing and installing uh, any licenses and that's it you're pretty much ready to go after that any questions about this deployment just leave a uh, any comments in the uh, blog post or you can contact me directly via our website and I'll be happy to help thank you